And uh, now I want to um, welcome our Vice Chancellor of the University of Rwanda. Um, before I do, I want to pick up on two things that the Permanent Secretary said. One is that in this room are represented people from many, many different institutions working in many different sectors. So I can see agriculture, um, the National Council for Science and Technology, uh, we have somebody from the African Center for SDGs. Uh, we have wildlife conservation and other conservation NGOs. So there's a very um, broad representation of institutions, which I think shows the importance of biodiversity data for achieving sustainable development goals. And we also have the participants in the training that are here today as well, coming from several different countries in Africa. Um, after the Vice Chancellor speaks, we are going to be having, um, I think, three uh, brief presentations for you that will give you a groundwork or a foundation for um, what we are talking about when we talk about biodiversity informatics or biodiversity information systems. And there will be time for questions after each one. So we encourage you to um, ask questions, enter into the dialogue, um, and um, give us your other ideas as we go through the presentations. So I'm now going to introduce um, Professor Phil Cotton. If I can ask you to come up here. Our chance, uh, Vice Chancellor at the University of Rwanda. Thank you so much. And you have a green tie, which is very appropriate. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Um, pl please excuse my pose. Um, uh, forgive me for being late. Um, Monday mornings and meetings are always a challenge um, for us to manage. And, uh, and, and I came hot foot from another meeting. but. Uh, but, but this was the meeting I was thinking of when I got up this morning. Beth, you're right, the green tie was, uh, was part of my thinking. No, not, not contrived, but I had Beth and conservation in my mind. We were looking at um, admission numbers um, this last week, and, and it's really good news that we've got so many students wanting to do your programs in year one of this year. Um, and I think at the moment we have 74 students showing an interest in joining year one conservation programs. Um, and, uh, and, and I think there are more. In fact, we're going to look for more this morning, Beth. Um, so by three o'clock this afternoon, we ha ha may have more students for you. Um, the work that Beth is doing with other colleagues in Rwanda, the importance of that has already been explicated by the Permanent Secretary. And, uh, and, and there is no doubt that the way we're moving and the integration of programs, whether it's in hospitality and tourism, or whether it's looking at our mainstream biology and zoology programs, or our agriculture programs, or our programs in the environment and climate resilience and climate repair, that much of the work has already been started by colleagues working with Beth and working with this group of people. Indeed, the government of Rwanda gifted the entire national herbarium collection to the University of Rwanda recently that it might, that the university might um, be able to engage with partners to do something significant about protection of species and, and cataloging species. And we have some beautiful, exquisite um, specimens going back to 1915 in this country and, uh, and I'm very grateful to you Beth and your colleagues for, for taking that under, under your wing. My name is Phil Cotton, I'm, I'm Vice Chancellor of the University of Rwanda. As you know the University of Rwanda is the merger of 14 public higher learning institutions. We're now about six years old and uh, we merged seven public universities and seven other higher learning institutions to create the University of Rwanda. We have a community of 30,000 people spread over 10 campuses, nine active teaching campuses in the, uh, in, in the nation of Rwanda. We educate more than 40% of all students in higher education. 
the others attend about 30 private universities. We're the only comprehensive university in terms of faculties. We're the only university in Sub-Saharan Africa to get, be awarded four World Bank Centers of Excellence in phase two of funding. Addis got three, no other university got more than two. Um, Web of Science rates us as a rising star and actually um, marks us out as number two in East Africa, second to Makerere for the quality of our, our research output. When you look at the colleges that make up the University of Rwanda, we have six disciplinary colleges. The College of Medicine Health Sciences, my former college, um, accounts for 13% of the faculty but produces 49% of the research output. What I hope to see, Beth, over the next year or so is, is that statistic changing. Um, that I know that you have a lot of colleagues working on a lot of projects. That we begin to see that data emerging and we begin to see um, a different profile for the people working with you. I'm really pleased to see Mapendo here. Mapendo is uh, one of the junior members of staff in the university working with Beth and is the only person who I've heard mentioned at an international conference. So I was at a conference where the president of Tufts University highlighted uh, a remarkable young man in uh, working in a university in Rwanda and it was one of my own staff. So Mapendo, it's good to see you and I see other colleagues here. So I wish you well this morning. Um, Beth, thank you very much. I, I, I think I have a slot at 12.30. I'm not sure there'll be very much appetite for you listening to me again, but uh, <laughs> I, I have one more meeting with, um, in preparation for the palliative care conference that I need to go to this morning, but I, I, I do want to come back and join you and, and hear something of what you're doing. So ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Rwanda. Welcome to Kigali, if it's your first time here. You've come to a truly remarkable city in a truly remarkable country. And I hope that you have time while you're here in this workshop and in the conference that uh, will follow to really engage with uh, so, some of the, again, remarkable people who are working in the University of Rwanda and in this nation. So thank you very much and uh, I wish you well for your workshop. Thank you.